Hello from Fine Arts. Today we are going to do Fish from India. This is folk art and the Gond community is famous for making these beautiful fish. I'm going to teach you how to do it. Here we go. Start with a crayon. You can use any size you have available. And I'm going to start with my blue crayon to make my border. I'm going to do a straight line on the left. Straight line on the bottom. Straight line down. Straight line across. And I'm gonna grab my black crayon to sign my artwork so I don't forget. I put the name in the bottom right hand corner. Okay, now I'm gonna teach you how to draw the fish. So the first thing I'm going to do is draw this kind of like it's a curl. Right here, we're going to start there. Okay, here we go, over here. So I'm kind of do like a hump and around. Maybe a sideways S. And then up at the top, I'm going to do a line down. And then this this side over here is going to come around. It's the head is bigger. And then I'm going to connect it. Straight line like that. And then on my fish, I need to have um, its fin. So I'm going to do that. And then another one that's thinner. And then another one. And another one going out. the tail, I'm going to do like a sideways V and then it's going to connect. Go. I'm going to draw two lines there with the black. On this fin I'm going to draw two lines. Two lines. Two lines. And two lines. And then up front for the head, these two lines right here. In front of this fin, I'm going to just do an arch down and another arch down. This one will be kind of thicker. And then I need to add a smile, make him happy. Okay, then I want to um, add my eyeball. So I'm going to do a circle. And I'm going to fill in part of it black because we're going to paint over top of this. All right. And then I'm going to grab um, my red crayon. And on my red crayon, I'm going to do on these fins some diagonals all the way up. And then these diagonals going the other way. I'm going to follow that same pattern. Diagonals up diagonals up. And then down here, diagonals, diagonals, diagonal, diagonal. And then on the fin, I'm going to add some wavy lines, whatever you want to do. Okay, and then around the face, I'm going to add some red dots, give it a little bit of detail. Maybe somewhere around the eyeball. Okay, and then um, I'm going to put a pattern back here. So to do that, I'm going to go back to my crayon and I'm going to do um, a circle and then inside the circle I'm going to do around, 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 okay? Then we do another one, circle, arch, arch, arch. I'm going to continue that same pattern, circle. And you are welcome to do any pattern that you want. Over here, Maybe 
this one goes around actually. And then those circles, I'm gonna color those in red. Might as well. You put them wherever you want. And you know, maybe I want one in here. Maybe a little tiny one in here. this white and okay now I'm going to also add a pattern to the outside the ocean so I'm going to do diagonal lines you're welcome to do it however you want I'm going to start up here in the corner do diagonal I'm going to pretend that we're going to go over the fish and it's right about here diagonal the same thing focus today is pattern and then I'm going to do continue with my diagonal on the other side okay now those were diagonals going down we're gonna do them the other way here we go it's almost like checkered but it's diagonal. Just have fun with it. Now we're going to get ready to paint. I think that's good for now. So today I'm going to be painting the, the ocean I'm using greens and blues. And I'm going to paint the fish with oranges and maybe a little bit of red. The orange and the blue are complementary to each other, so they make the color pop. All right. Okay. So let me get my paints. water. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to start with the fish first, and I'm going to use some orange. And I'm, I'm going to leave the eyeball white, and I'm going to leave this white. So I'm going to put some orange in there. And you know, I'm looking at it, and that's kind of bright. I'd like to put some yellow on that. So I'm going to grab some yellow, actually, and mix them together. Oh, that's better. So maybe, yeah, that's a good idea. Start with yellow. And just sprinkle a little bit of yellow on there. I'll show you. And then back here, a little bit of yellow. And watch what happens when we mix the orange and the yellow. So I'm gonna let that sit and I'm gonna grab my orange. And now I'm gonna go around it and kind of let it blend together. That's cool. Okay. I'm gonna try not to get it in the eyeball, but if you get the eyeball, you can wipe it off. Not a big deal. Okay, now I have yellow back here. Watch what happens when I put the yellow over top, the orange over top of the yellow. It kind of blends in nicely. Kind of just play with it. to over blend too much. Okay, now on this part right here, this was done in red, all of these stripes. 
Okay. And if it looks pink, that means there's too much water on there. So I'm gonna try to wipe some of that off. There we go. It's already coming alive. That's so cool. Okay, now I'm gonna go back and do the rest of these fins with that orange yellow color. And if they mix, that's okay. It's so fun. So you can see, this is called a resist technique when the crayons, you can see the crayon lines through it. And again, I'm just using my orange, maybe a little bit of yellow. Just to give it a little bit of to do my background. I did my, my ocean with um, blues and greens. So I'm going to grab some green. Watch this, this is so cool. And you're gonna just put some green in some spots and try not to mix the green with the other colors because if you mix complementary colors, um, they could turn into brown. So I'm gonna just sprinkle some green in some spots I'm gonna try to keep my border white. Okay, now, I'm gonna grab that blue. This is where the magic happens. You put the blue with the green. Ooh, look at that. That's beautiful. And I'm not gonna over blend too much with the green and the blue. Kinda let the paint do its magic. See how I did that? Okay, I want some more green over here. The green and the blue together make a beautiful turquoise color. And I kind of did mine in sections. It looks like it's drying pretty quick. So the crayon acts as a barrier. We call that resist. It's like the crayon is resisting the paint. And if you're doing this with marker, you can do it with marker. You can do it with colored pencils, whatever you want. The God community they would paint on the walls and they would use whatever they could find. They would use leaves, flowers to make their paint. They even used cow dung. 
<laughs> Do you know what cow dung is? <laughs> uh, pretty funny. So our lesson is on complementary colors, the orange and the blue complement each other. Notice how it makes the art pop. Our le le lesson is on pattern, lots of patterns going on. And you're welcome to make more than one. Maybe you wanna add, maybe your fish is small and you wanna add another fish. Your art is however you wanna create it. Just have fun with it. You could go back in and add green on top of the blue also. Kind of mixes nice. And then I'm not gonna pick up my painting yet because it's pretty wet. So I'm gonna let it sit here and dry before I move it. That way it doesn't drip everywhere. Okay, I hope you had a good time at art today. Until next time, bye.